I know it's been a week since I made a video, <laughs> which is a little, a little odd for me. Uh, but I made so many videos last weekend because it'll lay out uh, up in a living room. And I didn't want to keep on inundating everybody with videos. And I really didn't. I was kind of after that weekend. Uh, I was uh, not tired of Lego because it'll never happen. But I didn't want to. I, I spent time outside the Lego room. <laughs> doing stuff with the family uh so i didn't make any videos this week i haven't been really been in the living room this week i did some sorting earlier this week but i didn't want to make any videos about that because that's long and boring but so a week went by i didn't upload any videos and i wasn't planning on uploading any videos but this morning uh saturday morning as we were easing into the day uh i was watching some tiktok videos and one of the TikTok videos I stumbled across was a guy who had what I call the placement piece puzzle, the piece placement puzzles, which is basically you have to place pieces inside a container, basically. And uh, I, I've, I've done videos about this before. So this is a, a piece placement puzzle that my friend Pete uh, showed me one time that he built out of wood. And then I came home and I built out of Lego. There's four little L-shaped pieces in here that you have to put in here without taking the container apart. So this bar can't come off and then you have to put the four pieces in. And then he showed me this a couple, uh, a year later. Uh, this is a five piece placement puzzle where you have to put the five L's into this bigger box. And this is even a, place, a piece placement puzzle. Again, I'm not going to show you any solutions, but this is a, you know, it's basically a, a, it's a container built out of Lego. And you have to put these five pieces that I built out of uh, plates and tiles. And you have to put them in here. So the whole thing sits flush with the top. So I'm not going to give away the ending. I'm just going to put these pieces back in here. But basically, this is not done right because these things are sticking above the top. You can put all five of these pieces in here. Um, and you know, you try, you try to variety of different things, but, um, you know, so this is a, this is a placement puzzle, a piece placement puzzle. That's a burr puzzle. You just look up burr and I showed that one off a few times. It's a standard burr puzzle with the standard pieces. And this is just a, I don't know, slidey piece puzzle <laughs> where you have to slide some pieces and, um, get to the point now where, oh my goodness. You can take it apart and I have to remember how to do this. There, there we go. And then the, uh, these pieces, I mean, I can show you this one because it's pretty easy. And this one's a really easy build too. Uh, again, it's just five layers of tiles or plates and tiles on each end, top and bottom. I used again, uh, tiles and inverted tiles and you make two C's and you make an O uh, and they just slide together, right? I, I built one of these, as I say, out of wood when I was a kid um using a jigsaw and two by or one by fours <laughs> so it's but it looks it's cute and it's easy and it's one it's three pieces um so the guy this morning basically he had a box like this and six pieces like this now i i colorized it a little bit just to add some detail that i never did before with any of my other pieces except for the nice little stripes here so the, the colors don't mean a thing the colors really don't mean a thing. I just wanted to make it a little bit more colorful than I've done with my previous puzzles that look kind of not colorful. So I use some red in here and I use some tan because I happen to have some tan inverted uh, two by twos, which I needed to build these things. Now, again, these things are perfectly square with each other, no matter which way you go. They're perfectly squared. But they're half. They're not a perfect cube. They're half the cube. So it's uh, two by four uh, by four. We'll say two by four by four. Um, and it is just, again, using, I use two, two by four bricks and then, uh, a two by four plate, a two by four plate, and then two, 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 two by two tiles on top and two, two by two inverted tiles on the bottom, which makes it perfect. Now you don't need to use inverted tiles on the bottom. You can just put a plate on a two by four plate on the bottom because it'll still slide on the Lego. This just, for me, just finishes it off nicely. So you don't see uh, the, the tubes, uh, the different, but it will work either way. Um, you don't need to use tiles just put a two by four plate. As long as it's the same height as what, <laughs> like if you place the inverted tiles with a plate, uh, you're fine. So there's six of those, there's exactly six and exactly six will fit in here. The problem is of course, you only have this one little hole put the pieces in so they will go in here. They'll go in this way, uh, because this hole is exactly four studs by four studs. And I'll show you there's absolutely no, because I built two, uh, there's no trick to the box. This box uh, is uh, just plated or, or uh, one by X bricks 
Uh, it's got some tiles on the bottom so it, it can be smooth when you put pieces in here because they move them around they move them around like that uh but again they can only go through the hole so this is this is the top that i just built really easy uh it's just two plates thick i just i didn't want to make it huge i was going to do the original reinforcement so you couldn't take it apart easily i said that i don't need to uh, on this one if people want to cheat and take it apart to get the pieces in and out that's completely up to them I wanted to keep it smaller, but this is just two plates thick. It's got a row of plates and a row of tiles to keep it all together. And this one, the pieces just go in like that, right? So there's zero trick. There's no hinges. There's no, there's just one by X bricks. Uh, and it, they're exactly the same height as, because again, the bottom is the four by tens. And then I put the uh, tiles in the bottom so you can just move things around as I said. So you put it all together like that and you have a box with a smaller hole in it. And then you have to put these six pieces in here. And, it, and as I say, it is a placement puzzle. I'm not going to give away the ending. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the solution. I'm not. You, Anybody who's watching this video probably in their collection right now can build something very, very similar to this. You don't, need, you don't have to tile the top like I did. You can just leave it studded. It doesn't matter as long as that hole's there. As long as the pieces can come in here and they can like move around inside, you can see they move around inside, perfectly able to move around inside. And then, um, and you can, and then uh, this is always fun trying to get them back out. I was originally going to put a nice little hinge on it and a clasp on it so you can open it up and get the pieces out of it. You can put them like that if you want. See? But oh, now no, it's tougher to get out. There we go. Come on. There we go. So. Um, but as a six piece placement puzzle, and <laughs> I love it. I, I, I thought this was great. Now the, the TikTok did not, it showed the, the, the solution. And I, and I am told by my friends who are, um, love making puzzles that it's kind of a, a faux pas. It's kind of a, a verboten kind of a not right thing to do when you, uh, do a YouTube or a TikTok of a puzzle you built and give away the solution at least without a lot of spoilers ahead because people don't want to know the solution. They want to figure it out for themselves. Now, when I watched the video this morning, he did say, and I caught it pretty quick, he showed you how, what, how it was built. It was made out of wood and he used a piece of plexiglass on the top, which is kind of cute. So you can see the, all the pieces inside. But uh, he, uh, but then he says, well, and now I'm going to show you the solution. So I paused it right there and because I, I wanted to come downstairs and build this thing out of Lego. So he, he built his out of wood. And then I, I saw basically, and I got it in my head pretty easy, six of these, and then they have to fit into this, uh, that I could come downstairs and mock this thing up pretty quick. And it took me about five minutes to build my first one. And it wasn't this pretty, <laughs> if we want to call this thing pretty. Uh, but it, it did the job. And I said, oh, and then I played with it. And I figured out how to put these six pieces in here. And it, it, there is a trick to it. It's, it's a puzzle. So obviously there's a trick to it. <laughs> so, so um, but I, I really enjoyed this puzzle. And I did find this one to be harder than this one. But this one uh, is a lot I won't say a lot more fun. It's a lot of fun and it's, and it's an easy build. So if you guys have Lego around your house, uh, you need tiles and you need bricks and you need plates. And so you can just build these things and then try it and then try to figure it out. I'm not, I am not going to give the solution here. <laughs> so don't ask me, do not ask me to make a video showing this because again, that's not, you take away the fun if you give away the solution. Now, if you want to DM me, you want to send me a PM, a private message or whatever, and say, hey, Dave, I built this thing and I can't figure it out and it's frustrating me, then we'll talk. But I'm not going to make a YouTube video showing you how to solve these problems. Any, I mean, this one is easy, but I'm not going to show you how to solve any of these pro these other puzzles that I've built uh, at all uh, because that, that takes away the fun. And if uh, you can look them up. Oh, I'm missing a puzzle. I am, well, I'm not even going to talk about it right now. Um, so this is my quick uh, foray back into making videos this week. <laughs> so I, I built another six for the end. I built two of these boxes now. Um, I honestly, I, I, I'd like to know if you guys want to try the, building this at home and then let me know how you did. And um, keep me posted. Again, I don't usually say the like and subscribe or comment below. But if you guys want to take the time to build this, one of these, and come up with a solution, let me know if you did. 
and we can have a talk about it because I think it's a lot of fun. So that's it. That's all. That's all I got for now. A nice short video, a nice 10 minute video. And, um, and I, I am going to start, well, I'm not, I am, I'm not going to start. I've been doing it for a while. I'm going to actively look for more puzzles that I can build out of Lego because I find it to be kind of fun. And so I got these for now. I have a few more that are not in the, in the, in the picture here in the, in the, in the shot. But uh, I, I have fun building these things and I have fun trying to come up with solutions for these things. So that's it. That's all. I hope everybody's safe. Uh, I hope everybody's uh, doing well. Uh, everybody take care. There's some stuff going on in the world that I'm not going to talk about because, you know, this is supposed to be a happy, fun time for everybody. So um, I am, we are fine here, which is a good thing. And uh, happy that I'm making this video. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you guys all stay safe. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.